Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. A quick and easy one. We have f of square root of x divided by square root of x plus 1 equals x. And we're going to be solving for f of x. So we're going to try to find an expression for f of x. To be able to do that, let's go ahead and set the whole thing inside the parentheses equal to something. How about t? So I'm going to go ahead and set square root of x divided by square root of x plus 1 equal to t. And then from here we get square root of x equals square root of x times t plus t. So our goal here is to solve for x. Let's go ahead and solve for square root of x first. So we get square root of x minus square root of x times t equals t by subtraction. Take out the square root of x. You get 1 minus t equals t. And then finally, divide both sides by 1 minus t. And that gives us square root of x. But since we're trying to solve for x, let's go ahead and square both sides. And as you know, there is only one square. It's unlike the square roots. We get x equals t squared divided by 1 minus t squared. Obviously, you can also expand it and write it as t squared divided by 1 minus 2t, or not 2t, plus t squared. Now, since our expression on the right-hand side was x, so let's go ahead and remember the original equation. It was f of root x over root x plus 1 equals x. We can go ahead and replace x with this, and that's going to give us what? Since we set this whole thing equal to t at the very beginning, we get f of t equals x, which is t squared divided by 1 minus 2t plus t squared. Obviously, we want our function in terms of x most of the time. It just looks better. And no, so we can go ahead and replace t with x again. But you might be questioning, like, didn't we use a different x before? Yes, but it doesn't matter. We can use pretty much any variable. We can replace t with z z with t, z with 2t, whatever you want. So f of x from here is going to be x squared divided by, and I want to write the x squared first, minus 2x plus 1, and this should be the answer. So there's a couple ways you can go about this answer. You can go ahead and plug it in to make sure it works. And remember, when we substituted this for x, we didn't do it on both sides, right? Why? Because we know that this is going to give us a t. But again, you can go ahead and check it out, just square root this expression. You just got to be a little careful though, because when you square root it, you're going to get two solutions. So that might cause a problem. You got to be careful what happens if you take the other square root, so on and so forth, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.